Hey everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create, and today we're going to work on page um, seven. <clears throat> and if you're following along with me, we've already done this page once before. It's the same as page two, so it's going to have two pockets. And um, the pockets, the small pocket is four by eight, and the center pocket or the medium pocket is six by eight. And I've designed these pockets to lay completely flat. There's no flanges because uh, I want them to be nice and snug. Um, now, if you decide that you would like them a little wider so you can put more into the pocket, then what you're going to need to do is add an inch to this width. So it would be nine and then a half inch off the bottom by six. And then you'd score a half inch along the three sides. So those are your measurements if you want to add your flanges. If you want to do it just like what I'm doing, it's a four by eight and a six by eight. Now, because I don't have flanges, I can't tuck my um, designer paper into the pocket like what I normally do. That means it's gonna have to go behind the pocket, and because of that, I'm going to construct it with this, uh, the mat first, then the pocket, then the mat, then the pocket, and then, oops, and then the mat. Yeah, that's the right way. Um, that way, this mat will be completely behind the pocket. So that's a little bit different than what I normally do. I normally install the pockets and then slide the mat inside the pocket, but I don't have flanges. <clears throat> so that's why I'm doing it this way. I'm gonna dry fit this real quick. And then I'm gonna verify, <clears throat> yes, that I have it on the right orientation. So this is the top, <clears throat> pardon me. <clears throat> folder. Here it is. Okay, now we're going to add the larger of the two pockets, and we're just going to glue three sides. Turn it around, I'm gonna add this trim, and it is directional, so I'm just checking to make sure <clears throat> that my jellyfish is going in the right direction. And then the bottom pocket, again, we're just going to put glue on three of the four sides. And again, it's four by eight. Oops, that was a little heavy, but that'll be okay. I can clean it up. There we go. And here's our last piece. And I think I like it this direction. I don't think it really matters that much. Okay. 
Now I want to center it from here to here, so I'm just turning it so I can get a better view of that. Okay, now as same in, as in page two, I chose this piece of a um, journaling ephemera card. Number one, I wasn't a big fan of this side of it. <clears throat> it's okay, but I'm just not a huge fan of it. This side I really like. I thought this little medallion looked really great. So I'm using both of them in page two and page seven. It's not matted yet, but it will be matted. When you tuck it into the lower pocket, it becomes sort of a feature on the page when you when you get there. In addition, um, these are the cut aparts from the 12 by 12 collection. There's a cut apart in the eight by eight, but it's also it's tiny. And I'm planning on doing something across the top of both page two and seven, but I haven't finished my design yet. So that'll get added in the embellishment phase, but I just wanna give you a heads up. This will definitely get matted and probably be a bifold uh, card. Um, so you've got, you know, two photo mats plus a journaling space. Anyways, like I said, I, I really just like the way that looked. So I chose this ephemera card you could use, um, or journaling card, you can use any of the ones in the collection. Um, there's still, um, right now this is page uh, seven, I've still got two more pages to design, and I've got plenty of ephemera journaling cards left uh, to choose from as I come to fill these pockets. So I'll probably use some of the smaller ones here too. Um, and put them in a bifold configuration and have the back part tuck in and the front part lay over. But like I said, I'm not done with the embellishment phase. So we'll see, I'll add some stuff, but you'll see all that level of detail in the walkthrough. For now, uh, that is the end of page seven and this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. I wanna thank everybody for tuning in um, and all of our new subscribers that have come on board in the last month, um, it's great to have you here. And as always, we appreciate you taking the time to view. And if you're in the United States or any of its territories, we do ship to you. So if you'll take a look at www.scrapandcreate.com, you'll find all the products that I use in my um, projects in our store um, and we'd love it if you gave us a chance uh, to earn your business. So again, this is Daphne from Scrap and Create. Thanks everybody for tuning in and we're coming toward the end, but we're not quite done with this project. Um, I'll be back shortly to do to work on uh, some additional pages. Thanks, bye. Okay everybody, we're back to continue working on um, Ocean Blue with Graphic 45's latest collection and I've got my papers laid out and I'm about ready to sit down and start putting things together. So let's set these aside and I will go over uh, the flap sizes and the installation process. So just a second, I'm gonna sit down. So <clears throat> for this, we are going to need a, and I'm gonna double check my size, yeah, four by eight, four by eight. You're gonna score a half inch on the four inch side and it's gonna get adhered to the left-hand side of your pocket base. Here we go. So again, that's four by eight, and you're gonna score half inch. And then on the panel that's going to be centered and the way I'm going to center it is I'm going to find my four inch mark here and then this is four and a half by six four and a half by six score half inch so you have a finished four by six panel so what we're going to do is find the halfway mark on this which is going to be three and I'll put a little tick mark, and now I'm just gonna, it's very hard to see, but there's just a little pencil mark here. I'm just gonna line them up and install this flap. <clears throat> there we go. So again, we've got the four by eight on the left-hand side and the four and a half by six on the right-hand side. And here is the paper, and it's from the 12 by 12 collection pack that I've selected for the, um, 
left hand flap. I'm going to go ahead and put this in. I think I'll turn it this way so I can see my edges. And I am going to get a contrast sheet out here so I can see what I'm doing. There we go. Makes that much easier to see, I think, for you as well. Okay. Okay. And I know I'm going to apply a magnet here, and then there's going to be a magnet um, on this piece. But uh, first, let's go ahead and get the base in, since I know I won't be putting a magnet down here. And I'm going to show you the flip side. So I'm showing you the back side so you know that this is coming from the 8x8 eight eight collection pad. 8x8, eight eight, so this is not the 12x12. 12 12. And it looks like I have it inked and it's, it's ready to go. I think it's a little low, so I'm going to adjust it quickly before my glue dries. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm having a hard time getting it centered. There we go. There. That's it. <clears throat> no, it's not. <laughs> it's a little bit high on one side, but I think I may have lifted it one too many times. Yep, it's going to have to stay. All right. It's a little bit skewed, but... I can definitely live with it. Okay, so that's in. So this is going to go here. But before I put it down, I know I want a magnet under here. So let's figure out where that magnet's going to go. So let's set this aside for a second and we'll work on this piece. So this piece is eight and a half, eight and a half by seven, eight and a half by seven, and you're going to come across to the three and a half inch mark and score. So you're gonna start with eight and a half by seven, score at three and a half inches, and this is gonna get folded over and we're going to glue these two sides to make this a pocket. Before I do that though, I'm gonna go ahead and add my decorative strip right here, and then I'll glue my pocket closed. Okay, that's gonna go like this. And then I'm gonna go ahead and glue these two sides down.
Okay, so that's done. Now this pocket is going to get adhered like so. Is that right? I have to think about that. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm trying to remember if I want the pocket this way or this way. And I think it goes like so. And then this is gonna be added here. And this will be here, like so. And then this is gonna be the top and final piece. And just looking at my reference. Yeah, this is the way I want my pocket. So now that we know that, we can go ahead and I can finish adding my panel here. So that is in. And now, I'm going to go ahead and apply this. And um, basically, this is one of the uh, ephemera journaling cards, and it's just simply matted on black cardstock. And it's going to get applied like so. And I just want it centered on this. And I'm only going to do three of the four sides. And I'm just gonna put a little mark here so I know my glue line doesn't go above that. We're gonna put glue down here and then we'll flip it over and apply it. just messed up we were only going to go around the edge because we were going to make that a pocket <laughs> so I'm going to let this dry <laughs> and try to remove some of that I had forgotten what my plan was so ultimately is that right oh no I'm okay I'm okay it's still a pocket it's right here oh panic I'm okay sorry about that guys so that was right we do need all that glue Just adjusting that. Okay, now we're gonna burnish that on in place, and then we still we have this pocket um, back here. Okay, that is in. <clears throat> now we're gonna pull this back in. <clears throat> Before we add our brown, we are going to put a little mark on here so we know where the magnet needs to be. So I think I want. Yeah, about like this. So I'm looking for an even border here. Okay, so I can mark. Okay, so now I know my magnet just needs to come in inside that line. <clears throat> should be fine and now I'm going to apply this now on this side on this side I am only going to do three of the four so there's a pocket on the back side when you open the flap there'll be a pocket here okay so I need to trim out this piece of paper and I want to go ahead and apply it before I add it to here it just makes it easier than trying to slide it in once it's attached. So let's get 
that figured out. That looks like I need a two and a half inch strip. Okay, hang on, I'll be right back. Okay, I've trimmed out the rest of the pieces, so let's get started by, um, so we've got our magnet put down. Let's go ahead and get this mat laid in. I'm gonna dry fit it real quick. <clears throat> Looks good. Now, this piece is gonna lay in right here, right about here, and um, I think I am gonna go ahead and glue this down, yeah, um, on the bottom here, so I can figure out my magnet placement. Um, I'm not gonna be able to put the, the flip side on until I actually glue it down, but I can get ready for it. there but first let's go ahead and set that aside uh, I got a mark okay so I know that basically the midline the midline of this piece is gonna go right here on this edge so I've got these two small tick marks and that's how I'm coming up with the midline so I know I want to glue these three sides and I'm gonna give myself room because I'm putting a sliding a decorative sheet in uh, after I get it in. And I'm doing that um, so that I can get my magnet placed. Okay. And hopefully that all makes sense. Okay, again, we're looking for an even border around here and it turns out that that is right in line with the midpoint of this decor piece, of this designer piece. Okay, I'm gonna check that real quick. Yeah, and it's a little bit of a drift, but it's pretty straight, so I'm, I'm happy with that. Okay, so now, if you recall, we've got a pocket here. And then when we open it up, we're gonna have another pocket here. But now we're ready that we can go ahead and add our magnet, close it, and turn it this way, and press that into place, and there's our magnet. Okay, so now I'm ready to cover this. And what I've chosen is we're gonna do a little bit of color blocking. We're gonna add this and then these two little stripes on the ends. And I think they're trimmed out right, but I'm not positive. Yeah, I think so. I may have to take a little off the brown piece. And then for this piece, I've got this. So that's ready to go. So let's go ahead and get it in. It's inked and ready, so let's do it. Mm. I'm just trying to decide the orientation I want that swirl in, and I think I like it this way.
Okay, and then on this side, we are going to do the same thing. Here we go. And I think that's the right orientation, yeah. This is a pattern in solid uh, from the 12 by 12 patterns in solids. Okay, and then it's all gonna close nice and neat like so. So now the next part, which is the hardest part, is going to be color blocking this and I'm going to lay in the edges first because if I need to do any trimming uh, it's always easier to take it off the the middle the largest piece not the smallest piece so let's go ahead and lay in the edges and when I glued this on I kind of left a little open edge here at the bottom so that I could slide this under like so and then I'll come back and adhere the very edge of that when I'm finished. Okay. Luckily I didn't drop it on the <laughs> on my designer paper. Okay. I'll push this further in. I just noticed this edge is not inked. Start over. I'm going to make it wet again. Usually I like to push it in and then pull it back out. Um, but for whatever reason, I was having a hard time with that. So let's do it again. Let's try it again. Push it all the way in and then try to wiggle it out to where you want it. There we go. There we go. And then this is gonna go here and you can see I want a little black line on each side, so I am going to take a little off. And we might have to do that twice. Although, that was very close, but I do need to go one more time. That should do it. Is the same thing. I'm going to try to tuck it under and then pull it back out to where I want it. Okay, and now these are lifted slightly on the edges, so I'm just gonna go back in and add that little bit of glue. Hold that in place, and then we're gonna come back and do it on this side. Hold that in place for a second. 
Okay, and so we'll have this nice little pocket here. It's actually quite wide. And that is the end of this page, and I like the way that came together. So you guys uh, know that we've already made one just like it. Different paper, but basically the same flap design. So I'm really liking this design because it takes full advantage of using some of these um, ephemera journaling cards, which I think are so nice to feature in your in your um, in your albums, not just as tags, but just as design elements. So I think that turned out really lovely. And also we have a pocket here. So we will I'll fill those um, as I go back through after I've covered all my other pages and I know what my scrap situation is. Um, I'll probably make some tags to, to stuff in these tuck spots, but that is the end of this page. So I'll go over that one more time. We've got a little pocket here. Actually not that little. Pretty much goes uh, as wide as, as this ephemera card. And it opens up and then we have a pocket here and a nice flap here and a nice flap here. That is it. Okay, thanks everybody. I'll be back soon with another page.